Is that a backup camera? Is it positioned and working? Oh my god, that is! Why are those lights all torn apart? Well, oh, let me just unlock that. I built these. We got ourselves some nice block off plates to go behind those lights. We, and then we bought a whole bunch of new aftermarket lights that we're gonna go get from inside the house to bring back here. And then I built two different styles here of brackets to hold the side view backup camera on just to help me park. Just I came with a two kit, I might as well use the two kit. So we're gonna be installing this hopefully today. And uh, let's go see what we've done. There's been a lot of changes inside this bus. So let's start off up here. So this bus right here had the big arm that came all the way over. And uh, I would have really liked to get a bus that had the electronic door open and closing, but we didn't. So yesterday or Sunday, I modified up this entire arm. I cut it off, I hacked it up, I got it much closer here. I cut all these down and uh, so now when you open it, your hand doesn't smash into here. You can still lock it, you can still open it from the outside, everything still works, all your controls still work. Everything still works where it is, and the fan still works. It's just going to be a pretty busy corner over here. And then there's our backup camera set up there. I'm not going to start the bus because it is probably negative 10 today, so don't want to hard cold start it. And then we got all this set up. So these here, so this one here is front yellows, sorry, front front reds, front yellows, back yellow, back reds, back yellows. So what we're gonna do, let me just, I have it so it doesn't kill the batteries, but it gives you a voltage readout, and you can turn on some of the lights, and they all light up outside. So then this way here, we can. I'm gonna have fog lights, I'm gonna have floodlights up there. So we did that this weekend. I tried to make it look as tidy as I could. Uh, we do have extra ones here that we can supply power to. This one here is going to be our backup camera. So when you put it in reverse, but I'm just going to have a toggle switch. Um, we got rid of the cup holders and everything because we're going to be building another bracket for a seat. So we're going to be putting two Chevy truck seats in here. And we've decided to go with these because they have the built-in seat belts. The passenger, Tabitha, wants to sit close to me. And then it's going to leave enough space for people to get in and out. So we're going to be trying to come up with some brackets. I kind of like these brackets, but I don't know if the Chevy seats, the truck seats are going to bolt to the van seat base. So we're going to have to be taking a look at that. I'm probably going to do that here one day this week. Don't know if it's going to be today. I'd like to do the side camera today, believe it or not. But yeah, that's what we did for that. And then something else that we did back here. What else did we do? To be honest, I think that's all we did. We bought a water jug. Unfortunately, the water jug is too big to fit underneath the bed or underneath the sink. So we will not be using that water jug. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm finding this pretty cool, guys. I'm uh, slowly getting away, working away at this. And you know what? I think I'm going to use these backup camera, the side things. I'd like to get those mounted today so that camera isn't smashing off the side of the bus in the wind. So I built two different styles. I built a simple L bracket with four holes and then I built a little bit of a T bracket with four holes. So I think I'm going to try this one first and then it just goes on the side of the bus. So let's go take a look at this. And there you go. The backup or side camera, whatever you guys want to call it, is now installed. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can get this thing to go. I'm not going to start it because it's too cold. So, let's take a look. So there's the side camera. No, that's the side camera. How do I flip this? Okay, I can't, I can't deal with your dinging. So after about 20 minutes of touching buttons and listening to that damn dinging, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I think I'm gonna have to flip that camera upside down because I cannot figure it out in the settings. But, uh, 
We have some more goodies. We're getting rid of this light. We have some more goodies coming, boys and girls. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back here tomorrow, but same video. It's just too cold today. Hey, Arlie, too cold. So the other day I had a buddy come over and he helped me install these seats. Um, so I do have a passenger. Tabitha will be making this drive with me. So what we did originally is we just took a Chevy truck seat. I like these Chevy truck seats because they had the seat belt built into the seat. Don't mind the dust on it. And um, we drilled all new holes in the factory floor. Like not floor, but the, the van seat bracket. And we put it in there. When you're sitting in here, you are a little bit taller now. But uh, it's honestly not that bad. It's actually pretty comfortable. You won't be able to look at the top of the mountains. And if you put this thing down, it pretty much blocks out your view. So I don't think we'll be using that very much. But so we did the driver's seat. And then we put the passenger seat as close as we can to the driver's seat. And the reason for that is, is we were thinking about putting a seat back here. But then she'll be have her view blocked by all this. And honestly, guys, I kind of like the company of having somebody sit beside me. Realistically, how comfortable would it be having your feet up on the dash, driving through the Canadian Rockies and into the Yukon? It's uh, gonna be pretty nice. And then you get the fan right on you too. Let's see if I can get the fan on. I know, I think the lights have to be on. Sorry, the bus has to be on to get the fan. That's okay. But yeah, so we did the seat. This one here, we used all the factory van or bus bracketry and just bolted the Chevy seat to it. Um, the fan, the van's only held on there by really small, like 10 mil hardware. So we actually upgraded it to three eights, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how we upgraded it. And it just sits right there on the the tracks and everything, so that's pretty nice. But uh, we got rid of the factory seat belt. We put it as tight as we could, and then the passenger seat is very tight to the bathroom, but that's okay. And then for the brackets for the seat, I was looking online, and I didn't really want to spend 280 bucks on brackets. So I came up with this design, which is just two pieces of angle, and they're bolted to the floor in multiple locations. Um, the, the factory ones on the driver's seat are four. We have six on this side. And then we can adjust the height by taking these bolts out and adjusting the height so we can get it higher or lower. This is actually as low as it goes, but we could make it lower. I am going to put something right here, though, as a little toe catch, because I think I'm going to stub my toes on this. So if I build a piece of metal that comes out and then comes this way and then angles in a bit, Maybe that would save my toes, which would be nice. But we got all of these seats in this bus. So it's starting to come together. We have side-by-side -side seating. We did lose our cup holders. But guys, I think I'm going to come up with something else to hold our cups here in the dash. I'm not sure yet. But like, even if I just put something right down there, just have like a piece of wood or something, then maybe that won't be so bad for a cup holder. I don't know. But we got rid of the van seat. It was super uncomfortable. And this one here is, like, if you guys have ever sat in, like, a 2002 to 2005 Chevy seat, these are some of the most comfortable seats in the world. So we want to be comfortable. We are going to be driving quite long distance. So thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. We got the seat, the, the seat bolted to the floor. The bus has come along good. We actually did shorten up all this. I don't know if I did a video on it. I can't remember. This weekend was kind of rough for me. What we did is we hacked off this giant piece of aluminum that came to here. We built a little standoff to get it taller. Cut this piece shorter. And now it still works. So everything is still the way it should. And that's going pretty good. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you back here later on Zach's workshop and uh, the bus build. This is going to be our tow rig and our vacation rig. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow.